In a previous film I've shown you how to use the remove uh, background option in the properties panel to simply kind of uh, change an image and uh, basically if I just kind of demonstrate that for you again so if I just uh, shift click to unclick that mask you can see what we did uh, but when we start to actually work close in you can see that the edges there are not as good as we want them to be and what we want to be able to do is actually just use the likes of the refine edges uh, brushes in the likes of the mask to just actually refine it just a little bit more. So just to show you a little bit more dramatic image than just actually the smoothness that we have on this fur jacket, I want to make it a little bit more difficult for myself. So let's uh, first of all just uh, open up another image. Um, you can see here it, it's the same thing, it's one of the setup shots for, for this kind of photograph um, but the uh, fur jacket is a lot more kind of jagged and everything else with it and things so if we do the same technique as we did before technically just create the new layer select the different color pinks from within the photograph then obviously pick up the gradient tool fill our background or what will become the new background with this, gra this gradient unlock the background uh, background layer itself, drag it above the new background and then click onto the properties palette, select on remove background and Photoshop is going to do the job for us straight away. So it does its job but as you can see here you can tell it doesn't actually have all the fur that we were seeing in the uh, sorry in, in in the last image so let me just kind of slick that off you can see what's missing so I just want to kind of bring that back a little bit more so in this case we're just going to click on the mask so uh, double click it and that opens up the uh, masking uh, kind of adjustments that we can do here and all I want to do is actually go over to this tool palette on the left hand side and select the second one down which is the refine edge brush tool then all we've got to do, we could use quite a big big brush if we want, just go in there and start to actually uh, just drag the brush around the edges where you know there is going to be fur. Now you can see we're going into the face here a little bit. This is where we would tend to actually use a smaller brush, yeah, so it's just not going to affect the face, but it's no big deal. I'll show you how to fix that now. OK, so we're still going to get a little bit of the hair kind of de uh, detail spilling out into the actual edges. Um, but as you know, the main thing that we're trying to do here, just hit the wrong button there. We'll fix that now in a minute. Um, I want to fix this fur edge in running down the side. Now, if you're used to uh, doing a little bit of the masking before, you know over on the right hand side here, we can actually adjust some of the sliders for different effects as well. That's really down to you. But in this case, we're just showing you a quick uh, way to actually bring all these lovely kind of edges back to this jacket. Now, because we're working on a similar color of the pink, as it were, any color fringing that would still be, or color contamination that would still be within uh, the kind of the hair, especially as she's so close to the background, uh, would basically show up. So if we were putting her onto a white background, it's uh, it's not going to be as successful. But we're getting close to the end now. It's quite a big file here, so uh, coming around the edges, it's pretty cool. Right, so we've done the hair, we've done the jack uh, jacket, I've made some mistakes, let's fix those mistakes now, otherwise we'll have to fix them when we go into the Photoshop. So I'm just going to click into the third one down now, which is the uh, um, kind of just painting, and this is where we're just going to go in and paint the parts of the photograph that we definitely don't want to be see-through, see like the hands and so on with it. All right, there might even be some parts of the jacket that we've kind of revealed, I think, that I did that wrong there so let me just pick up that one again just pull it through and we'll uh, go and have a little look in a minute and see if we need to actually hide that there's uh, another area down here on the trousers we don't need to reveal so there we go so within a couple of minutes we've basically gone from the beginning of removing the background and now we're uh, going straight in to refine that. We're going to press OK. Now before we press OK, what do we want to do? Do we want a new layer, which will actually give us a new layer of just the girl without a background? Or do I want to click on a new layer with a layer mask? In this case, because I definitely want to refine some of the actual fur edges even more, I want a new layer 
with the layer mask. Press OK to that and then you can see straight straight away the difference between what was the uh, kind of the first cutout if we just go in close here to the second part where we've got all this lovely kind of fur edges in their back now remember remember that you know we still have a little bit of contamination going down on here as well as a little bit of kind of blur a uh, blurriness uh, but we could go in and start to actually uh, refine this uh, and to do that basically we would go into the mask itself so select select onto the mask and then we want to press b for brush and then we want to put D for default that puts white on top and then black and then shrink our brush down to the right size and then we can go ahead and actually start to actually paint on the actual mask itself obviously it depends on the amount of the opacity that you want to paint in but we definitely don't want to see any see-through of the actual image at all so we can start to actually work through here might be some elements around by the face that we removed and things really but overall you know that's a pretty good first attempt uh, sorry about that um, as far as the kind of the cutting out is concerned if we were a little bit um, uh, looking at the kind of the edges that we have here we'd obviously have to do a little bit more uh, advanced um, element uh, than just actually going in and actually doing the simple masking and things really and that's for a, a little bit more of an advanced film so what what we just did there if we just uh, kind of go back to the basics we had an image with lots of things in a scene we then just used in the properties panel we clicked on the remove back uh, background once we'd created a new background of course uh, and then if I just shift click to put that back on again that's what we did to begin with then we went by double clicking into the layer mask we went into the mask in and then we just used the actual refine edge brush to actually bring a lot of the actual fur in back and that's how you would just refine the image just that next little step using simple techniques.